What's going on y'all? Welcome back to A Couple Nurses. My name is Cordero and today I'm going to be telling you guys about WGU's last semester. Here at WGU, um, the last semester was definitely the hardest, the toughest, and it took the most out of me physically, mentally, and spiritually. I'm I want to help you guys out and give you guys just something that you can use as a template and to prepare you for, for what's gonna come because I had no one to help, no one to tell me. Take notes and uh, let's get to it. This last semester at WGU is a two-part series. The first part is pretty much your clinical practicum and then the other part is you actually taking your final exam. The clinical practicum part, we're gonna go over that part first. One thing you need to know with that is that it does require 180 clinical hours total. So that was six weeks, I think, for me. Three twelves for six weeks. Let's say start scheduling and thinking about this early on with your job, start coordinating, because you're gonna have to start thinking about your PTO, do you have enough time? Uh, luckily for me, I was blessed enough to be able to work one day a week uh, because my wife was holding it down, and then we had a little bit of extra money to kind of uh, fall back on. Um, you know, in dire situations or worst case scenario. But definitely get your financial situation figured out early on and uh, coordinate with your job because you're gonna have to take off. There's no way I think you can really work full time and do this uh, along with all the other things going on uh, during this part of your program. Also, with this class here, they let you choose your clinical site. If you don't choose, they'll, they'll find one for you. Do decide to go to a different hospital than you've been doing most of your clinicals at. I would say start this process early on as well, uh, just so that you can kind of get the onboarding um, orientation done at that hospital. And then there's some forms from WG that you need to get signed and then your, your potential preceptor has to go in. And it took about a month or so for me to get all that stuff coordinated. And um, luckily I started early, so it didn't really slow me down at all. Uh, that's a tip that you can use. In your clinical practicum, what's expected? It's pretty much like the other classes that we had in WGU, all the other uh, clinical intensives. Uh, so each week you're gonna have two videos you need to make. Uh, one's a journal, the other one is a post conference. And then on each one of those, you're gonna have to do two replies on the video, along with studying for your other stuff. Okay, so we went over the clinical practicum part. The role transition, the uh, didactic part of the class is what really gets tough. So what they did for us is they included the Hearst review with our tuition. Whenever you sign up for the Hearst review for this last class, uh, they'll send you this book. You're gonna go through the Hearst review and take all your notes, use your highlighter, get your red pen, um, do the Hearst review do the practice quizzes they have in there, and then you're gonna to have to take two practice tests through HESI, and I think make a minimum of 850 before you can take your final exam. As I was doing my clinical practicum hours in the hospital, I was also studying an hour or two while I was there, and then on my days off, I would have to study uh, for my actual didactic part of the class. Again, it's it's tough to really work throughout all this whole time period. The HESI exam, exit exam was really tough for me. Um, I think the minimum you had to make there was the 850. I think I made like an 890 or something like that. So, I mean, I didn't pass with flying colors. Don't take it lightly. It's gonna definitely test you because you're going back learning about maternal and pediatrics, but at the same, time you're getting prepared for the NCLEX. So think of it like that. So what else is included in this didactic part of the class? There are two papers, and these were the most frustrating papers I've written throughout the whole program. The first one's a leadership paper. So when you're doing your clinical intensives, you're gonna have to go to three leadership meetings with an interdisciplinary team. So, you know, it's respiratory therapists, there may be physicians, there may be occupational therapy, there may be physical therapy. Um, you have to go to these meetings, take notes, and then talk about how the leadership style uh, is pretty much being used in this meeting and why it's important to use an interdisciplinary team. This is a cool paper just because it's not as common. It's not really APA format. You can kind of get creative with it. I mean, mine kind of look like a magazine, add a lot of colors in there, some bold text, some quotes. Uh, so I had fun getting creative with it. The second paper you have to do is going to be your professional portfolio. And this was a very, very tough paper. Uh, I think mine was 18 to 20 pages long, it took a long time to write it. I'm going to suggest you guys do with this uh, paper, the professional portfolio, is to start early. Just like everything else I said, get your stuff done early. Start preparing for this early because if you wait for a last minute, you know you have to send this task stream. They can possibly send that back after three days of being in the queue. 
So you want to take your time, make sure all your I's are dotted, all your T's are crossed, and it's looking crisp and has everything that they're asking for. Um, they have a lot of criteria that you have to meet for this professional portfolio. Another tip I'm going to give you for this paper is to save all your assignments and tasks that you've done early on because pretty much you're referencing everything that you've done previous throughout the program. They're going to ask for competency, then you have to go back and look through your papers and say, hey, this paper I wrote on you know, the opioid crisis meets this competency. You're talking about a competency list of 20, 25 different things. So like I said, this is a very long assignment. It takes a lot of digging if you're not organized. So hopefully you guys don't have to deal with that. All right, and that pretty much sums up what the uh, last two courses in WGU's program uh, consist of. I hope this makes it easier because again, I didn't have anybody guiding me through this. Um, my mentor, she was kind of seemed busy. This is something that will help you guys and hopefully you rock it and pass your exit. Peace.